when it comes down to Kawhi's game, he's probably the stiffest bucket we've seen in NBA history, right? <laughs> I don't think we've seen a stiffer bucket than Kawhi Leonard, but he does a bunch of things that don't require him to be shifty and allow him to thrive while being stiff, and y'all could also apply even if you're stiff or you're shifty. So understand this, right? When it comes down to Kawhi's game, he's going to use a minimal amount of dribble moves. He's only going to use as much as he needs to get from A to B. And so when Ant jumps out, boom, spin, footwork sharp. Gets straight into the space that's left there on the middle of the floor. And now once he gets here, slows down a little bit, makes the read. Rudy Gobert drops back. He's just baiting. And now, boom, fade. Give me that too. Understand how simple all these buckets are about to be. Look at this by Kawhi. His game is so simple. Some of y'all probably can't even believe how simple it is. Understand, right? Double screen right here, underneath, right? Kawhi, shot. And this is probably one of the most underrated part about Kawhi, right? A lot of people don't even realize, but when you really look at it, he has one of the most balanced and aesthetically pleasing jump shots because the balance in basketball. It's just like you don't, you never, you rarely see him take a jump shot off balance. Like it just always looked like he's just in control of start to finish. And that's what allows Kawhi to be so consistent. So we get it from the top. So you got Kawhi on the catch, back screen on Nas Reed. He switches on to Tice. And now coming off the screen, Kawhi just rhythm dribbles, right? No dribble moves, by the way. Pump fake gives it up. But now what's most important is that you continue to remain active. And this is how you're able to condense your game without needing to use dribble moves, right? Because what Kawhi now does, play off the spot up when his man went to go help. And once, even once he gets here, this is so basic, push cross to see if Kyle Anderson is going to jump out to the middle. What does he do? Jump out to the middle. He spins, gets hit on his head. They don't call the foul, though. They hating on Kawhi. They trying to knock out his cornrows or some shit. They hating. But little things like that, you keep your game simple. You don't got it. Give it up. Continue to move get this shit back and then you go into your attack so look at Kawhi once again simplicity bro simplicity McDaniels is chasing over no need for me to curl to a three-point line he's just gonna get back in front of me I'll curl into the paint and now even once he gets this catch just watch his speed no rush at all cat reaches he steps back and now he just steps through with that left while McDaniels is still on that trailing side McDaniels couldn't get back in front simplicity use that left and now we've got to really start cooking as well. You got Alexander Walker on him, empty left side, right, by himself. Pass gets thrown over the top. And now notice his angles upon this catch. Catch turns over the left shoulder instead of spinning back over that right shoulder. And now he just reads the defense. And now this is the most important thing of scores, is that once you get into spots where you want to score, you must now seek space. Ant steps over here, Alexander Walker on his backside. He now hops over to that middle of the floor. Boom, turns, floats. You don't see him using dribble moves. <laughs> We're not seeing Kawhi use dribble moves. Once again, does Kawhi even need to dribble? He's now getting into another set. And now right here is where McDaniels is already anticipating the action. What McDaniels is now doing is waiting for Kawhi to go over the top of the screen with Zubach. Hence his positioning, right? And so now you got Ant in this corner, not helping on this. And so what does Kawhi decide now to do since he is just relaxed going into this infliction point this crossroads of a play backdoor live pass to Kawhi boom dunk simplicity simplicity and he's still not done cooking playing off the catch playing off the spot up we didn't see him scoring so many ways thus far thus far give me one sec Jacob right we didn't see Kawhi scoring so many ways in just the past few plays and now he's playing off the catch Anthony Edwards got his head turned so what does Kawhi do once man gets to that baseline attacks him to the paint lifts up cuts through that paint gets the catch and now how does he get his bucket one dribble pull up going across the lane another bucket that's quick eight points just by everything being things all players could do you just got to understand how you must play the game and not seek to be pretty one thing a lot of y'all don't even understand when it comes to attacking is that the bag you use should be in accordance to the space that you have Kawhi gets the rock with about five seconds left. He gets a screen going to his right side. Empty right wing, most importantly. And so this gives him room to be able to get downhill and use what? An in and out, which now also caused Rudy Gobert to do what? Because when you're a big in this situation and you see a player change speed, you see him make a little shifty move like an in and out, 
they're going to be extremely hesitant. He drops back. Now, boom, he gets into his pull-up because he has space on that right wing to get into that pull-up. Kawhi has only used about two dribble moves this entire time we didn't watch this breakdown. About two dribble moves, right? And he's been able to score about 12 points. That shows you pace, IQ, angles as well is extremely important. Extremely important. In and out, yeah, that's why I said he used about two dribble moves. He used that spin move, use that, in and, okay, that three. He used three dribble moves. About th three dribble moves this whole time and scored 12 points. Understand, quiet in the situation. You got McDaniels once again chasing over the top. And so at this point in time, he's got McDaniels beat. And what a lot of y'all would do is that you got somebody beat, they're out of position, you'll try to rush yourself and get into the spot as to which they they left because they're beat. But instead, what you got to do is something more like quiet, which is when you got them beat, keep them beat. So now you could be able to get from A to B, get to your spots and get to your bucket, right? Just kept them on that weak side, dropped that pace, read the help as well, got to that floater. End of the shot clock, got to get something up better than trying to go cook something up. But understand off this offensive rebound now though, right? Kawhi gets this right here, right? And look at his pace inside the arc. Look at his pace. He gets into the paint and damn near stops. And that what allows him to do is just simply read the defense and now he gets a foul because the defense sees that sees him slowing down and by slowing down they understand oh he can make multiple decisions he could actually get to his spot and score or he could go and make a pass so it just puts him at a weird weird space as to which do we take this away or do we take that away and really they play in no man's land and he gets that foul he's not even using dribble moves he about to really cook these motherfuckers bro y'all really got to understand this right quiet gets this cross screen down here from this block right Kyle Anderson fronts this, takes that away. But ball gets thrown to the top, and what does Kawhi do? Reposition. Angles. All we've been talking about. Pace, angles, IQ, smart attacks. Right? So now, he reestablishes a position so he could get this catch. And now, even after the catch, right? Pump fake, dribble, picks up his dribble after just one dribble. No dribble moves, by the way. But look how he's going to get to his spots. Cut by Tice. I spin. <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Even though the dribble is dead, his mind is not because he's still seeing gaps he could get with Kyle Anderson overcommitted and now Gobert leaving because the cut and then also seeing that picked up dribble. So he just spins, boom, right there, layup and one. No dribble moves necessary. Bucket is required. Peep quiet. Look, another offensive rebound opportunity. I kid you not, he don't be using no dribble moves, bro. <laughs> he don't be using no dribble moves. Got this here, pass fake off an offensive rebound. Defense all discombobulated. Now he just gets here, slows down, stops at the free throw line because Gobert is there, which is the same reason why nobody was getting into the paint. But now he just floats over the top and gets that too. Simplicity in the game of basketball, bro. Keep shit simple. And so now peep quiet, right? Harden on the break. Look at quiet. Stiff ab run, bro. You could get buckets. You could cook and still be stiff, right? So now he runs the rim, which forces Monte Morris to pick him up. And Ant sees that. And Ant says, oh, shoot, we got to go. I got to go get onto Kawhi. Can't let Monte Morris guard him. And so now Monte Morris stuck on, on, his, on the inside. Ant now going to Kawhi. And Norman Powell has an open three from this left wing. He's creating opportunities. And he's still stiff as fuck. He's still stiff. This is another Kawhi buckets where he didn't even need to use no dribble moves. And he was still cooking and stiff. PG with the point out, bro. Flips out right here with the screen. Backdoor. Cat lay on the communication right here. Lay. And one. Don't matter if he's stiff. He's still getting buckets. I don't know what got into Kawhi's brain. Where it got into the last few seconds. And he decides to do this in this possession. He does more dribble moves in this one play than he did all game to get all of his buckets. Which is why he probably ended up getting here. Taking this mid-range. Because Gobert down in that paint. And now he pulling up and he missed that one. All the other ones, he kept that shit simple, got his bucket. But now he did more shit in that one play than he did the whole game. Took more energy. And he didn't even get the bucket. Sometimes you just got to keep shit simple, bro. And that's what you can really learn from Kawhi Leonard.